Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to my first video of 2017. And uh, for my first video of 2017, I'm going to do the best Yu-Gi-Oh cards of 2016. So this is my best of list. It's a, uh, it's all based on my own opinion, so don't feel too bad if your cards didn't make it. And feel free to leave in the comments which cards you would have chose. But uh, I know 2016 was a terrible year, and everybody's got these worst of videos, and I just kind of wanted to do a do a best of. So here's the top Yu-Gi-Oh cards of 2016. I'm doing them in sort of a uh, by type. So the first type we have up is best fusion monster. I'm gonna do one my number one pick, and then two honorable mentions. So for my number one pick on fusion monsters of 2016, I have the Crimson Nova Trinity. This is just a freaking ridiculous monster, awesome effects, you know, can't be affected by your opponent's card effects, just brutal. And then for honorable mentions, we got both the Blue Eyes Twin Burst, another brutal monster, and then the Leo Dancer. I feel like Leo Dancer is another brutal monster in its own way, it's got ability to attack twice with, with just a pretty boss power level, not to mention the Luna Lights have way too many ways to power up your monsters. Next up, we got Synchros coming on. The number one choice for Synchro monsters for me was the Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. I feel like this card's effects are just ridiculously powerful. Now, for the honorable mentions, I've got the Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon, of course, and the Crystron Phoenix. Love the Crystron deck. And uh, Crystron Phoenix is what makes this deck even usable at the moment. Plus, I mean, who who doesn't want to banish every single spell and trap your opponent has? Super good effect. Okay, so for our regular monsters, I have Palladium Oracle Mahad. It was kind of hard to choose for normal monsters, but I feel like the Palladium Oracle Mahad is just overall an excellent card. Even on its own, it's pretty amazing. Uh, honorable mentions for this, of course we got the Blue Eyes Alternative. Freaking amazing card, probably better than the Blue Eyes itself, but needs it to run. And then also we got the Performance Pal Pendulum Sorcerer. It's kinda hard, It was I was really between the Pendulum Sorcerer and the Unicorn, but the, the Pendulum Sorcerer I feel is uh, is better as its own card. So for Ritual Monsters, I only have one honorable mentions for this because I don't care for Ritual Monsters all that much and honestly I feel like 2016 didn't see very good ones. But my number one pick for this, of course, is the Chaos Max Dragon. That Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. It's a super good ability, you can easily just finish the game right there if your opponent's using a monster with a defense of zero, which there's quite a few out there. Uh, and then for my honorable mentions on this one, I've got Sarvis. I just, I really love this card. It's got an excellent effect, and uh, he works worked out perfect in my uh, red eyes. Next, we got X Y Z monsters. For my number one pick on this one, which I actually didn't know was uh, what just came out this year, it was Cyber Dragon Infinity. For my XYZ on this one, I chose Cyber Dragon Affinity just because he's a freaking amazing card, and if you run level fives, you you have Cyber Dragon Affinity in your deck, like guaranteed. Excellent card. Uh, for the honorable mentions in this, we got Dora the fucking Explorer. <laughs> Honestly, Dora would probably be number one if it wasn't for the fact that it only really runs well in one deck. Also. Next up for the honorable mentions is the Ebon Illusion Magician. I definitely love the uh, support Dark Magicians are beginning this year, and uh, who knows? Well, who knows how those will turn out if they're gonna get ever see any more support? Okay, so now we also have spells. So for my number one choice of spells, I've got Performance Hurricane. Now, this card might not seem all that excellent, but if you're running a, perf a Perform Pile deck and you use perf Performance Hurricane, there's a good chance you ended the fucking game. Also, for the honorable mentions on this one, I have Pre-Preparation of Rites, just because being able to add both the Ritual Monster and its Ritual card in your hand are way too damn good. 
and then I've got pot of acquisitiveness for reasons reasons you already know okay so on traps is kind of my last subject I want to talk about for traps at number one I've got eternal soul eternal soul is what really made the dark magicians of the viable deck like it it's the only thing that would even consider the meta at this point also for my honorable mentions on this, I've got the Dimensional Barrier, because freaking amazing card, and the Paleozoic uh, Dinomiscus. I think that's how you would say that. I like uh, Dinomiscus because it allows you to uh, banish your opponent's card, uh, one of your opponent's card, and you can send another Paleozoic to the graveyard to use its effect. Okay, one other thing I wanted to give, like a, a tops to, was uh, Archetypes. So, new archetypes within this year. My absolute favorite new archetype that came out this year, which I actually plan to build as a competitive deck, is the Lunalites. They are amazing. In case you couldn't tell by the fact that Leo Dancer was on my list, I, I absolutely love uh, love the uh, Lunalites, and I can't wait to see them grow. And then another one I've got listed on here is the Kimmy Critters, because... They're actually pretty competitive. I, I like the way the deck handles. I think they've got a uh, they've got a lot of support already from just that invasion of vengeance. Uh, invasion of vengeance. I think uh, I don't know. I don't know if they're getting any more support in the future, but they're already already pretty amazing. Now I guess I could say for honorable mentions of this, <laughs> uh, I would say uh, the Crystrons and the Predator Plants. Although I didn't list them originally because they're not even halfway finished. Like, Crystrons are really fun to play with, but they've got more cards coming out and there's a reason for it. But yeah, that's my uh, best of 2016. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like and subscribe. And like I said, be sure, if you want, you know, let me know what you would have chosen for each type. You guys take care and enjoy this this new year.